from behind against Joey Dance. You're down, I think, 5-1 at one point. Yeah. What's the what's going through your mind when you're down 5-1 to, to uh, Joey Dance? Got to score points. I mean, I talked about yesterday. Can't get frustrated. I was down for like four points at one time, one time, and uh, you know you're never out of the match. You know, there's a big thing called a a pinfall. You can always get that. So, I mean, that's not what I'm looking for. Beginning of the third period, but you know, never, you're never out of the match, especially me. Did you feel stronger as you went? I mean, obviously you were behind. You knew you had to push it, but you, yeah, you I mean, kept I was, the pressure on. I wore on him for about six minutes and 30 seconds. The first 30 seconds, I mean, he took me down, what, in two seconds or something? Something really crazy. I mean, he's good. I mean, he maybe took it out of me for 30 seconds, but the rest of that match, I took it out of him. I got that last takedown right out. Um, I mean, he gave up, he didn't give up the takedown, but you can, uh, kind of like when uh, you kill a deer or something, it's the last breath, it's just kind of, you know, so just kept scrapping. Next matchup, Zeke Moisey, unseated guy. He knocks off Nashawn Garrett. That's your next matchup. How do you feel about that matchup? Score points. They got tough on him for seven minutes. If I do that, then he'll fold. But I got to make it hard on for seven minutes. And I mean, I you know never really heard of him before, but he's in the semis with me, so he must be pretty tough. So, I'm pretty tough too. So after you got that winning score and you heard that crowd, what what'd you feel? I mean, obviously you used to be in front of big crowds, but this was a this was a great big reaction to that win for you. Yeah, I mean it fired me up. Um, I don't know, get my teammates fired up by me winning, and get the crowd fired up by me winning, and it's an exciting match, and the crowd got into it. And, heck, give them something back, you know? Got me fired up. How much did you have your eye on the clock? Because you actually you had to take him down and ride him out for an extra 10, 12 um, seconds there. I did. I wasn't looking at the clock at all. I mean, I you know, have it in your head. You go out of bounds, you glance back at the clock. You know, I mean, it's it seems long. I mean, you had a minute 30 left, let's say. I mean, that last period was felt like 10 minutes trying to get to him. But you got an idea going. And if you keep glancing at the clock, that's point whatever seconds, you know, when you can be attacking. Is this what? victory about being mentally tough or being in better shape, or how would you size that up? Both. The combination of being mentally tough, better shape, and wanting it more. Sometimes when you uh, when it gets tough, some guys, they, they're okay with going the other way. That's maybe a pride thing for me. When it gets tough, I got to get tougher. You know, I was gassed, you know, but I wasn't as gassed as him. And I wasn't going to go the other way. I was going to get that takedown. It feels good, you know. In front of bench cameras, getting attention, that feels good. If I would have went the other way, then been pouting in the back room, and that don't feel good. So it's